Hello there, my friend, and welcome back. A little over a year ago, I created a very tiny art studio in a corner of my apartment. And for the time that I had it, it served me really, really well. But a few months ago, I got to thinking, I can rearrange my furniture and have a larger art studio. And so that is what I have been doing. Still a small space art studio, but much larger than just a corner in my apartment. I've taken my dining room area now, of course, because I live in an open concept of apartment. It is not a proper room. It's just a little like alcove of a space, but I've taken that dining room area and I've turned it into my art slash writing studio. This is what it currently looks like. So this dining room table was just in there like going this way. It was moved here to create, like, I mean, that's really all I need for a dining room, just a place to put the table. So it's put there to kind of create a barrier for this. And I want this whole entire thing to be the art studio. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with that bike or where I want to put the bike. Because there's really no other place in the apartment, but I will figure it out. So yeah, uh, kind of a hot mess. Oh, I forgot the best. I'm sorry. Lighting. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it is a nice spotlight, don't get me wrong, but as far as, like, ambient lighting for whenever that is not on, yeah. So, definitely going to have to put some more lighting in here. Thinking of what I'm thinking of, this is what I sketched out. So, at least one floor lamp here. I might put another one back here. And yeah, more than likely because it'll just be in an art studio. Um, and <laughs> I don't want paint to get on anything super expensive. I'll probably just get those, like... $10 lamps from Target, which I have all over my apartment because they're cheap and perfect. Uh, but this is going to be a bookcase with various things. Desk is in the other room. I'm going to move the desk. This cart I already have, I plan to put here. I have two full-size easels that I'm going to put. I think I'm going to put my canvases here. I used to put my paint tubes. And I want to have places to like in between that long wall to like hang my art, but also just art pieces and quotes that inspire me. So I want to create these arches, but I don't want to spend a lot of money. So I think I'm going to do them, as this says, with painted pool noodles. Not exactly sure how that's going to work, but I'm here for it. I'm here for the adventure. <laughs> If you are really, really short on space, I will have that original video down below in the comments where it was just in that corner. But let's go back in time together and get started on that dining room art studio. I'm going to call it like my mid-sized art studio. This is where I'm ending at day one, vacuum to the floors. <laughs> And this I just kind of like mocked up. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go, but this piece does not have a bottom right now. This was the top the shelf portion of a bachelor's chest I had whenever I was growing up. And so the bottom portion is at my parents' house. They just use it as like a regular like chest. I have the top and that is actually going to be a project that I do for another day where I'm going to put a bottom on it, put some legs, and then just paint it. Paint both the stool and the shelf as well as the desk that I'm going to bring in here. And yeah, I have the stool there to kind of prop it up to make sure that nothing falls. I know that definitely I want to keep these like, I mean, not the pledge bottle, but I want to keep the printer there and this pencil sharpener here. Uh, and more than likely, I like this as well, keeping some of my books. But the top, I just put things just to kind of like get them off of the floor. And then of course, I just put my easels back just so that they would not be crowding up in my living room.
reorganized my cart. So up top I have my watercolor and gouache in tubes, as well as the stuff that I would need for painting. And then on the second one is markers, the colored pencils, and just like some ink pens back there. My big jar paints and my chalk pastels are down here. This is where the studio is so far, not bad. I have one more thing that I wanna do. Of course that wall uh, is really plain right now, but I'll decorate it and or I'll just put canvases on it as I'm working. But I wanna take this, I bought a piece of Luan. Actually, I bought this piece of Luan a while back to make a board to put this paints on, but I thought, you know what, let me just put them directly on the wall because if I get more and they don't fit on the Luan, that's, that's gonna look weird. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prime this and paint it and then put it up here. Yes, I know that instead I could have gotten like a cork board or something like that, but this was much, much cheaper. And I thought that I could just tack on or tape on things that are giving me inspiration at the moment, make it like a little inspirational board. And here is the result of what I am currently working with. So I'll take you in parts. So of course, this part, I know at the beginning of the video, I was like, I'm going to find somewhere to put the bike. Haven't yet, probably won't, but I put this easel in front of it and a fan. I do thankfully have central air because this is the very south of Louisiana and I could not survive without that central air, I don't think. Uh, but I do have a fan just in case it gets really hot, especially like in this corner. So whenever it's time for me to ride the bike, I can just move these things, pull the bike out. That is my vision board for 2023. I'll link that video down below in the description box if you want to see exactly why things are on there the way they are. This is my main working easel, as you can see. Tons of paint on it with my light and my painting apron there. So that's there, but I decided to make this corner really my painting corner. So these are things that I've already worked on. So alas, poor Yorick, and that is Ophelia. I think I definitely am going to be making prints of Ophelia. I'm going to find a way. Maybe I'll do, because that is a, a larger piece. I have a last poor Yorick small like this. I think I might make a print of the smaller one. Anyway, stream of consciousness. So those pieces I've already done. I want to take some of my photography that I did back in college and turn them into actual artwork. So, I mean, I know this is artwork, but like into actual painting. So this lamp is what I'm going to be working on next. So it is up there. I decided to hang my paint up on the wall that way like it just they're hanging with nails that way whenever I get more paint I can just put some more nails the different palettes that I use this I still haven't had the time to get that bottom shelf so now it is just being supported still by that stool but it is as functional as can be so some books notebooks sketchbooks are there I have my printer here a little tin of random stationary things more sketch pads and little notebooks are in here this is all my watercolor stuff. This is a jar of drop cloths. Of course, my original inspiration, the Walt Disney Animation Studio. Canvas is here that I'm going to be repainting. Not that one, um, but repainting these. This, gotta be honest with you. Uh, this is a little doom pile of things that I don't feel like going through right now, but that's why I put the easel there. So it's, it's hidden in plain sight. Work that I've already worked on, you saw that I put, these are the smaller, uh, these are the smaller of my paint tubes. So even though some have places to hook on the wall, some don't and they're different sizes. So I just thought putting them in this basket is good. I already went through the organization of that, but since it is magnetic, I have some of my favorite magnets. So my pass holder, Donald, these are actually little like bookends bookmarks, but I'm keeping them there. 
so I can clip things, and a lemon. My desk in its current setup, I do like. And this, I only have a little bit on now, but this whole section, I'm going to turn into my writing wall. So these are the short stories that I'm currently writing. And I found it really effective as I finish the short story. I print it out just so I can feel like I've accomplished something. Those are going to be like inspiration or they are inspiration for two short stories that I am writing. And speaking of inspiration, this is where I came up with the inspiration board. I was going to buy something to put as like an edging onto it to create a frame, but I thought for this size of studio that I have, even though it's a big wall, I didn't want it to like jut out too much. So it's just completely painted blue on. So the blue and then the gold framing that I painted on really does look like Sorcerer Mickey. I did that not realizing. So that is it for my art studio. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully it serves as a little inspiration if you are trying to get an art studio in a small space inside of wherever you live. If you have a studio space, I love seeing people's studio spaces and watching them like put videos together of it. If you have any of that, drop that in the comments down below. I would love to check it out. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you real soon.